What's up everyone, my name is Chow. Welcome to White Knight. This is a Norse style survival horror game that just got released earlier this month and it looked good so I decided to try it out. Um, it is rated MA for mature because of sexual themes and partial nudity. So with that out of the way, let's just hop in there. Some nights are just pitch black, without stars, and without sleep. Dirty nights clinging to you like tar. Like this one night, back in 1938. Boston. The Great Depression tsunami was just sweeping over what was left of America. Misery. Hunger. Despair. Times are hard, they said. Times were worse than hard. And the bar was about to close. As far as I was concerned, this was just another intoxicated day drawing to an end. If only I knew. this oh I can I can steer cool I should probably get into the right lane this guy's driving like right in the middle of the road I wonder if I'm drunk I just left a bar Just oozes style. Oh, what's this? Oh, we're heading over a bridge. Is that a what is that? The shock was still echoing in my bones, as the image of that girl coming out of nowhere surged back in my mind. Did I hit her? Was she dead? I couldn't remember. Thoughts were spinning in my head. I hope I didn't run her over. I hope she's still alive. Then, 
The pain. The terrible pain on my side. And this question. Where am I? The instructions come as like a narration. The car was on the brink of death. Oh, looks like I'm stuck. There's a tire on the floor. This oh, there's that's a girl. Uh, the this girl on the road. The impact. I couldn't find her body. What is this thing? Uh, nothing. I see an electric post. I think I'm walking towards it right now, and off in the distance there's a gate. What is this? The box seems to be connected to the electric lighting of the street. Oh. Oh, so much style. And fixed camera angles. Ah, oh, god, not fixed camera angles. Okay, well. Oh, for help, I could rely on the Boston Daily News, which I sh could check with J or Y. Have I killed her? Who was that girl who crossed the road? I couldn't avoid her, but I never found her body. I couldn't get her desperate stare out of my mind, but I was wounded, and I needed help. Oh. Okay, I guess we're, we'll find, um more articles later on. Check the mailbox, guy. Okay, never mind. Then just open the gate. Wait, did I even press the right button to check the mailbox? There we go. Vesper Manor. Didn't ring a bell. My head was empty and painful. I could read the name Vesper on the mailbox. That name. No. Ever since the commotion, my memory seemed like gone. Okay. to collect my thoughts, but the intense pain was scattering them like a bunch of dead birds. My fear of being wounded changed into an obsession. Was I about to die? Oh, is that a well over here? This thing with the, um, with the roof on it. Looks like it could be a well. Yeah, it is. And what the hell's up with that symbol on the tree? Let's check. Let's check everything. Quite a drop. I don't. The darkness of the well spat a salty smell into my face. Why didn't I hear a like a a thump? Is the well dry? The bucket fell down a dozen meters at least. No way to recover it. Thinking this was a premonition was probably just superstition, but I felt definitely uneasy. Alright. So, although this game oozes a lot of style, and I really do like the, the black and white noir theme, I can already tell how this is going to be a pain in the ass. 
This unknown symbol let out a powerful aura. When you only have two colors to work with, it's hard to tell when things are gonna pop up at you. What else is around here? Can we go to the back of the mansion? This looks like a mansion. Okay, never mind. Tree stump? W plus S? I would have considered that romantic under other circumstances. What about this for sale sign? Why is this mansion for sale? Oh, is it because of the Great Depression? For sale. This board looked as old as a house. Man, we are really beat up right now. And it looks like there's a cemetery right in the front of the mansion. Why would you bury your family members here? That's fucking weird. Margaret Vesper, born Venter Cross. On the grave, the name Margaret Vesper seemed to challenge eternity itself. Who was she? The grave looked as daunting as a forgotten tomb. What a dire way of decorating a garden. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you could at least put it in the backyard. It's, uh, B. Norman. This name coming from nowhere was chilling. Why? Are these famous people? Do I recognize these people? Henry Vesper, a relative of the landlord. Okay, this bucket had not been used for a long time. Can't check this tombstone, so I'm gonna head right to this lady statue over here. The statue is staring at me with a white and hostile glare. Okay, I couldn't help but think about that statue's broken arm. Someone had obviously moved it recently. But I couldn't help thinking it was some kind of desecration. Hmm. Well now. Looks like there's an order to the articles. Probably should try to... William Vesper. No date on the grave. Probably should try to, like... Be as thorough as I can with this game. It's kind of hard to be thorough when uh, we're moving at a snail's pace right now. Anyway. The arm came from a marble structure. Wait, there's an arm? Really? Is it the is that the arm of that statue? Oh, I can't pick it up or anything, so let's just uh, head up to the front door. I doubt anyone's home, but. We should check it out anyway. There's a wine glass here. Why? Was someone drinking? There's still some golden liquid inside the glass. Yeah. The glass was still moist, and the chair was overlooking the garden. Someone was there recently. If that person were to come back, my wound would be the only acceptable reason for breaking in. Alright. Let's uh, go find some help. Someone was here recently. Now, are these liquor or wine bottles? Letter from Martha Keaton to William Vesper. Under normal circumstances, I would have never tried to contact you. I am an honest woman. I have supported my husband since the blessed day of our wedding, from which two beautiful children were born. I have given them the best education I could, but today, I cannot afford to raise them properly anymore. We are ruined. My husband's employer went bankrupt. He is traveling from town to town trying to find a job while I have to beg for food every single day. My four years old son has a bad cough, which is getting worse, and I fear for his life. Nowadays we can see children die in the streets. Is this still America? I beg of you, who are rich, only a few dollars would be enough. We could work for you. 
We live in the shack under the best oil sign at the entrance of the slum by the Graham slaughterhouses. Don't hesitate to come. Martha Keaton. That fucking sucks. 1938, this is when the Great Depression was happening. Shit, dude. But we were in a bar. How the hell was I... How the hell did our character afford to be drinking in this kind of uh, an economy? The landlord was out, so the key might be around here somewhere. No one around. I was all alone, with my pain growing and some nausea starting up. Don't stop. Think quick. Think well. It was just an accident. It happens. The girl must have made it out alive. I had to make it out alive too. Yeah. Is this a window? Couldn't see a thing. The windows. The window was watching over a tomb. And so it's not gonna let us break in, huh? No one answered my calls. Either someone was hiding in there, or their house was empty. In both cases, that wouldn't be very helpful to me. I needed a key. Well, the key's gotta be here somewhere. Maybe it's at the bottom of the well? This is probably a puzzle that I have to figure out first. The arm came from a marble structure, but there was no key in sight. There it is. Let's grab it. Can I grab it? No, I don't think I can grab it. Maybe I have to interact with the statue first. Here we go. Aha. There's the key. Oh, that's kind of cool. The moonlight is coming from the left side of the screen and the statue is blocking this um this tomb right here. The moment I moved it, it lit up the um the cross and I can grab the key. Twisted, but the dead probably kept burglars away. That's I had the feeling I was about to desecrate a sanctuary. To open the door to a world I didn't belong to. But whoever lived in there, they would understand. I needed help. Anyone would understand that. Yeah, let's hope so. That is a really cool mechanic, by the way. The the whole black and white lighting and shadows. I like that. This is gonna be an interesting game. Okay. What's behind the door? somewhere safe. That's all that mattered. As the doors opened, the mansion seemed to react to my presence. There was a smell, like a cornered animal. The smell of fear. And yet, I entered the place, because I had no choice. I was praying to find a phone, or some help. I didn't even bother wondering what happened to prayers when they reached the wrong door. 